Well, Walt Grayson is back with us to wrap up our work week with his latest Focus on Mississippi report. And we aren't the only people wrapping up the week. I understand <laughs> the uh, Mississippi Art Colony is wrapping up their very first biannual workshop since the pandemic started. Yeah, this is a special week for them. Uh, they, they got together, you know, they get together twice a year, to kind of as a retreat, sort of to dedicate themselves completely back to their art for a whole week with no interruptions. They've been doing this all week, taking out their place in one of the lodges at Lake Teocata near Louisville. The Mississippi Art Colony started out nearly 75 years ago at Allison's Wells Resort north of Canton. The group has met regularly since then, this year at Lake Teocata. There's about 100 members today, and about half of them were at this week's retreat. It's a week of intense concentration. We basically do what we do best, and that is create and paint. Um, but we also share amongst ourselves, and we also are supported by a guest artist. This session, the guest artist is Mo Brooker from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He's been painting for over 60 years and has a lot of insight. And the way I get it, he sees his role as more of a guide than a teacher. I'm trying to show them what their vision happens to be. What I don't want to do is say, this is the way you're supposed to do it. Not at all. I look at their work, and we talk about what they want to do, and I try to find ways to help them get to that point. But change one of the colors and see what happens. I guarantee you, you'll see a difference. I love art. Art is an expression for me that I find enormously spiritual. Mo says there's one thing that every artist needs to have before they start, and this could go for writers and musicians, too. And that is have an idea and have a vision and you will learn from each failure that goes on don't worry about whether or not it doesn't work initially because it won't but with each failure you grow visualize the finished product in your head before you ever put it on paper and if the actuality doesn't match the vision figure out why try again that's why these folks meet twice a year to keep figuring out how to actualize their life of coming up with continual visions and the Mississippi Art Colony has a Facebook page where you can go see some of their work and Google this year's guest artist, Mo Brooker. This is the fifth time that he's come to the Art Colony. He says he loves coming to Mississippi. Love that. And I like his idea about failures I was gonna really say. aren't yeah. failures. Right. <clears throat> but is it possible that if it's not your vision and it turns out it might be really good anyway? I think a lot of people, I ask him about that, but it's, it's something yeah. similar to that. I said, you know, here in Mississippi, we have a lot of writers and writers have to discover their voice. Do artists have to do the same thing? And he said, oh, most certainly. And that's the way you do it, uh -huh. is you you've, you've keep on doing something, you find something that sweeps back to you. Tell him a very that. good teacher. He is a oh, great I, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. I, it must have been a delight meeting and him. And he is over 80 years old. Really? Oh, my I wanted goodness. to find wow. out what he's eating for breakfast. And that <laughs> voice was yeah. just magnificent. Wow. Yeah.